Hey guys, it's Steve with Ride the Teacups. I wanted to show you just a little bit of a preview of what I am working on today because I am really excited about it. It has been a just a fake page for a little while. That is up here on the website. It's our weather section. Um, so this has been a coming soon. If you go right now to Ride the Teacups weather, you can do that right now. It's coming soon, but I'm working on it and it's not going to be coming soon much longer now. It'll be here. So this is just the idea, uh, and I've got uh, 80 degrees. Let's, I still need to uh, obviously fix a couple of things. Thanks. So, uh, it's in progress, right? So we're still working on it. But I wanted to show you a couple of things. It is uh, real data. It is actually 80 degrees and a clear sky right now in Disneyland as of 1.36, which is exactly when I'm recording this conveniently. Uh, the weather icon will actually change an update. Uh, based on what the actual current weather is and uh, and get done with that. Um, it will actually look like what's on this super secret piece of paper here, but I haven't designed it. I haven't uh, put the design on the site yet, so uh, that's coming. Uh, but I was playing around with a couple of things, and here is what this website's going to look like if there's a little bit of light rain going on in Disneyland at the moment. Uh, you will actually see the raindrops crashing on the screen. Uh, and if it's more than just light rain, if it's actually heavier rain, you'll see a few more. Uh, and get into all of that. And then, if there's a thunderstorm going on, obviously this icon will not be a sun, it'll be a thunderstorm. And you'll actually have the thunderstorm happening on your website while looking at the weather in the background. Uh, I can pick any background that I want for this to happen. Um, the, uh, the cool thing about this is that the weather droplets are actually using the background image. So up here, you're going to see them be uh, darker green and then more of a gray and then a brown over here. And here you'll actually see the color of the roses coming through on the raindrops if you look really closely. Um, and then up, of course, all of these are going to be blue. These guys are actually going to change as they go through the different colors of the balloons. And then, of course, the yellow house. Um, And then, very dramatically, uh, the black one, all of the raindrops obviously are black, and you can see them kind of going through the, the lights and the colors of the Christmas lights up here on the actual castle. So, And, of course, lit up by the thunder. So, uh, And, of course, we can get rid of it if it's a clear day or do light rain, but it's nice to be able to see this works on, a, on any background, uh, whatever it is that you happen to have chosen, uh, and can change to match whatever scene it is that you've got. So uh, the weather page is going to look really cool. Uh, like I said, this is obviously uh, just the weather effect, the background, the uh, the actual how it's going to look is uh, is going to be completely different and overchanged uh, once I implement my super secret piece of paper. But uh, just a little preview. So keep watching. Ride the teacups .com. Uh, check out the weather section, and if you subscribe to this YouTube channel, you'll know exactly when it goes up live, and we'll walk you through the actual final build. Thanks for watching. Hope it's been fun. We will see you next time we ride the teacups in the rain.